Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Next we will look at some of the basic concepts of printing. To print your image to the default printer, select File from the menu bar and choose the Print command in either Edit Mode or in the Organizer, which will launch the Print dialog box where you can select a printer and set the various printing options that are available. Depending on the version of elements that you are using, your dialog box may look a little bit different from the one shown, but you will still have the same choices to print your image. In the left pane, you can select to add or subtract photos to your print job by clicking the Add or Remove buttons that appear. If you click Add, you can choose to add photos that are currently in the browser an entire catalog or an album or you can use the drop-down to choose keyword tag and then select the keyword tag from the drop-down menu. Note that you can also choose to add photos only with a specified rating and you can also choose to show hidden photos if desired. You then select the photos that you want to display from the pane shown at the right side of the dialog box that appears and then click the add selected photos button and done or just click the cancel button if you choose not to add any photos. Then in the middle pane of the print dialog box, you can choose to rotate the image by clicking one of the rotation buttons that are shown below the image, and you can even scale the image by using the adjacent slider. You can also select how to position the image in the page, either by clicking the center image checkbox, or by deselecting that checkbox and then entering specific values into the text boxes and using the units drop down. If you have more than one photo selected to print, you can use the previous and next buttons to navigate through your choices. Now in the right pane, you make your printing selections. First you select your printer from the drop down. You can keep the current printer settings or you can click the change settings button to make advanced changes such as the print quality. You can select a paper size from the select paper size drop down and then you can select the type of print from the drop down individual picture package or contact sheet. You can select a print size from the next drop down. And finally, choose the number of copies to print by entering a value into the text box or by clicking the adjacent up and down arrows. If you click the More Options button that appears at the bottom of the screen, you can set advanced printer options if you're familiar with them. Once you've made your selection, just simply click the Print button in the bottom right corner. Remember that the quality of your print is determined by a number of factors including image resolution, printer and paper quality, and others. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.